Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Thanks for being with us. 888 uh, You can find us at uh, Pat Unleashed on Twitter and Instagram. And, of course, YouTube.com slash Pat Gray if you want to check out our YouTube channel. And click on that alert button. That way you'll be alerted every time there's new content, which is uh, really handy, really convenient. Rate and review, uh, five appropriate stars, of course, uh, so others have access and will know what you're talking about when you're getting into some, you know, bingo square uh, saying that we do and they won't look perplexed. They'll understand. It, it just, it, it creates camaraderie oh, among yeah. humanity mm-hmm. is what it does. So <laughs> we appreciate your effort there. Uh, wow, another tragedy overnight. The Francis Scott Key Bridge. The Key Bridge, for short, in Baltimore, uh, collapsed after it was slammed into by a giant container ship. I, man, uh, we, it's it's one of those bridges that it's very, very tall, yeah. very high above the water. It's like, I don't know, 200 feet above, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a little scary. I've driven over it many times when I lived in Baltimore. Uh, it's a little frightening under the best conditions. Yeah. Uh, but this is really horrific because a lot of people obviously went into the river when this thing came down. Gosh, yeah. I think we have the... First, we have the slow motion video because it happened at, I think it was one thirty local time? Yes. Okay. one thirty a.m., yeah. Yeah, and so, um, first of all, thankfully it didn't happen at 7.30 a.m. Yeah. yeah. Can been you much imagine worse. that? But let's do the slow motion video. This is just... Uh, Horrific. There's the ship. I mean, look at that. Thing. Oh, it just comes straight. It just down. like a domino effect. Mm-hmm. Then every every section, and it wasn't goes down. Yeah, it it went all the way down the row. <sighs> yeah. Jeez. So now here is what it looked like in in real speed. That was slow motion. I mean, this thing is fast. So there's yeah. the ship approaching, and you watch these cars and these vehicles going across the top, and you're like, go 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 go. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, how many did you say mm. they rescued two and seven are still missing? Mm-hmm. Uh, and the number just went up to twenty. Twenty, 20 are missing. Oh. Twenty are missing. Gosh, oh. I believe yeah. seven of those are workers, bridge oh. workers. Yeah, there was some construction mm, going there was on. Some construction. I think yeah. twenty construction workers were on the bridge at the time. Watch how fast this thing goes when it gets hit. Mm. Those cars, man, you're like, please yeah, drive get faster. Going. <sighs> They've got no idea. Right. I know. This thing was off course for some reason. It shouldn't have shouldn't have been there. Uh, it should have gone underneath. There he the, goes. Uh, oh. I mean, that was instant. Yep, instant. So the company, mm. I don't know how you pronounce it. You see their stuff everywhere. Maersk, Maersk. Yeah. M a e r s k. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, look at the aftermath of that bridge. I mean, they just issued Devastating. a statement that said they're horrified by what's happened in Baltimore. Thoughts for all those affected. Uh, closely following investigations. Not much, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're saying at this point, but look at that, man. I mean, just mm. yeah, it's absolutely destroyed. So that just happened. That picture just got taken from the daylight. Uh, daylight is now. No idea how long that will take to replace, clean up, and clean up. Bridge was built in what seventy two. Bridge was 77. built in seventy two, and it was renamed Finished. in seventy seven. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. All right. Me and Keith got. I know into it was it. there when I lived in Baltimore. Uh, that's all I know. So that, that was, was after seventy seven. Yeah. Okay. It got it. Yeah. Nineteen ninety to start. Ninety to ninety two. Um, is but, that? A, I assume that's a major, major thoroughfare. Yeah. You don't build a bridge in a town mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. just for the fun of it. Uh, and imagine that that is a heavily trafficked mm-hmm. road, huh? Yeah. 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 Ish. Yeah, really sad. Uh, they, they said there were dozens of cars on the bridge, and uh, or maybe about a dozen cars on the bridge, even at 1.30 in the morning. Yeah. And so there's dozens of people that went into the water, and they've only rec- rescued two of them so far. Mm. 47 degree temperature in the water. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't know that part. Yeah, it's really cold. So uh, if you hit that water, you're... You're not feeling good. Uh, like a 150 to 200 foot drop, depending on where you are on the bridge. I mean, either the shock. Of, can you imagine mm. the shock of just falling? Oh, my gosh. And then the what? shock of the cold water. Yeah. Just 
Yeah. Dreadful. And I just, by the way, as long mm. as we're talking about this, I clicked on one of those stupid little uh, life hack things, you know, <laughs> and you click to the slideshow. And mm-hmm. I never knew this, but I guess, I don't know if this is intentional or what, but you know how your your head uh, cushion on your chair on your in your car, mm-hmm. you can you can take that off. You know, you push the little button, take yeah. it off. Yeah. You're supposed to use that to break the glass if yes. you're submerged in water. Yes. Oh. Hmm. I had no yeah. idea. Interesting. Life hack. I also think I've I've heard that once you're underwater, when you allow the uh, the automobile to pressurize, you can open the door just like you otherwise would. It just has to pressurize. Yeah, to hit it at that right moment. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So I don't know, but you're panicked and you I don't know what's yeah. going on and you might be upside down and who knows. I mean, that's really horrible. They also sell keychains that help mm. you break through windows and cut your seatbelt. Mm. Yeah. If you're panicking that quickly. Right. Yeah. Mm. Can you get those on planes? <laughs> I'm serious. Those keychains? Like I don't know. Mm. Because that's I, a good question. My daughters have had their. Uh, Oh, little, the knuckles! Thing? Yeah, the, the yeah. little cat cat ears. Yeah, mm. those are weapons. You know, I, I love our government. They are so efficient at protecting us. Let's. Uh, keep you remember the-, the bridge collapse in? Was it Philadelphia? The most recent one on on was it I ninety five? It was oh, in yeah. Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, uh, Chris Christie they, sat on it. They said that would be out for months, and they had it built back in like a week or yeah. something. Uh. So I don't know if they'll be be able to do that here, but a little uh, different beast over water, I would imagine. Yeah. And I'm surprised that, and, and I'm not an engineer, surprise, but I'm surprised that that a ship hitting uh, a, a a a bridge, uh, what a but, man, like a support, a support, a support, yeah, is it mm-hmm. not more? Yeah, you would think in so. Concrete mm-hmm. or I, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, it just feels like it just it went went down, down fast. It hit the hard perfect and spot. fast. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, but. That shouldn't. What are you? Be, what are you seems alleging? Like, seems like I felt like Chris was alleging something there. It hit the. I'm perfect just saying spot. it hit the perfect spot. So it was Pat like says a it was bullseye. off. Yeah, Pat mm. says it was mm-hmm. off, course off course for a long time. Chris yeah. says uh, it, hit perfect it hit the perfect spot. spot. It feels like honestly, that's where we're at in America, 2024, and yeah, social media is just never trust anything. Full with with was this intentional and rightfully so to at least ask the question because you don't know anymore. You don't. I mean, it, nothing. Mm-hmm. We have been conditioned to not just take news at face value mm-hmm. because we've been lied to so much, so many times about so many things. Why would you believe anything on face value anymore? Golly, uh, they're showing it on the news right now. And if you were one of these vehicles that got through, like right now, before the container ship hits, and it's very close. Uh, Wow, how fortunate and blessed are you feeling today? Because that could have been you. Ugh. Oof, jeez. Wow, that went down fast. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. We're playing the slow motion yeah. version, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and here it comes. Yeah. Right into that and, and support is it pylon. Ju- it's just the one level, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's one level. Uh but yeah, I mean, the, you the just people, wonder what are you doing? Where who's driving that thing? Yeah, I mean, there, there's a guy, you know, probably watching this video who's driving that big rig, going, "Oh my gosh, if I had, you right. know, pulled out just a little bit later from the gas station down the road." I'm in the water right now. Yeah. Mm. Just crazy. Uh, all right, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Uh, Pat unleashed on Twitter. Uh, did you see that uh, Donald Trump was just placed among the 500 wealthiest people in the world for the first time ever? It's kind of a weird time for that to happen, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, his his uh, fortune has been assessed at $6.4 billion, according to Bloomberg. Um, and uh, while everybody is talking about how weak he is right now financially... Uh, they just they just boosted him up. I'm sure he loves this report because he's all about that. He's all about wealth and being a billionaire. And I think he always says he's worth ten billion. But uh, <laughs> Forbes, Bloomberg, they don't they don't buy into that. But the Trump Media and Technology Group finalized a three hundred million dollar merger with the Digital World Acquisition Acquisition Corp. The deal uh, has been almost three years in the works. 
but it results in Trump owning shares worth billions of dollars on paper. Hmm. Bloomberg reported that his net worth goes from $4 billion to $6.4 billion. They noted that the sudden increase means that Trump will join the ranks of the world's wealthiest 500 on the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. Hmm. Digital World is a special purpose acquisition company. They call them a SPAC, a company without commercial operations and is formed strictly to raise capital through an initial public offering, an IPO, for the purpose of acquiring or merging with an existing company. So I don't know if this is going to, is if this gives him the means to uh, post the bond, but the bond was just lowered yesterday yeah. from 500 55 million or whatever it was 335 or 355 to uh, okay yeah 175 Mm -hmm. yeah he had a couple of big things happening yesterday he got that bond lowered and what does he have 10 days i think uh to come up with 175 million and then the other thing he learned yesterday was um uh jury selection for the stormy daniels hush money trial is going to begin on april 15th i believe all right <clears throat> they just don't stop. No, nope. they don't stop coming after him. Yeah, and I was just seeing. I, it was some pundit on MSNBC talking about special justice that he has that nobody else does. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! Some former attorney general or whatever that comes on MSNBC was talking about how yeah he's got special privileges. Nobody else could get their bond lowered to just one hundred and seventy-five million dollars. Oh god! Are you serious? They're after him. All over the country. It's incredible. Just incredible. So he was uh, back in court yesterday and had this to say. Yeah, this is when he comes out there and he popped this up. Are you getting a bond? Thank you very much, everybody. Are you getting a bond? This is a witch hunt. It's a hoax. Thank you. A witch hunt. (laughs) This is a hoax. Thank you. And so there he's going short and sweet one building to the other. <clears throat> well, then he did the press conference afterward, which was fun. Okay. Uh, here he is uh, talking at the hearing. Or so after I just say hearing. it's a sad day for this country when you have something like this. And remember the words should have been started mm. three years ago if they were going to start it at all. And then you wouldn't be quibbling over what week it's going to end days. They're quibbling over days and hours. They wouldn't be quibbling at all. They never started it. And you know why they didn't start it? Because they didn't know I'd be running. And they didn't know how well I'd do. And if I were not running or if I were doing poorly like everyone else has done, because they're all gone, they're all knocked out except for crooked Joe Biden. (laughs) If I were doing poorly, this wouldn't be happening and none of these trials would have been happening. That's a fact. If I wasn't running, they wouldn't be happening. So it's a sad day in our country in many respects. Uh, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he went on. He had more to say, obviously, about the situation. They can't win an election because of the borders, because of energy prices, because of Mm -hmm. uh, inflation, because of Afghanistan, the worst and most embarrassing day in the history of our country. He can't win because of Russia, 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 because of all the problems, because of Ukraine being attacked by Russia. And he can't win because of the October 7th attack of Israel, which he should have never allowed to happen would have never happened if i were president ukraine would have never been attacked if i was president (laughs) and you wouldn't have inflation if i was president we didn't have inflation (laughs) Um, so all of these things so what they do is they do election interference which is court cases and uh, let's try and tie him up and let's take as much of his money as possible Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah well jd vance actually went as far as to say that joe biden wants him to die in jail yeah and they want to bankrupt his family. Yep. I think that's pretty obvious. He uh, made the social media reply uh, about middle of the day yesterday. In four hours, <clears throat> it drew more than 3,600 rep- replies, <laughs> 3,300 retweets, and 10,000 loves. <laughs> loves? Uh, yeah. I, I like? guess it's just likes. But <laughs> okay. they put loves, loves in the article. Is there a loves button? <laughs> I don't know. I a, love that. Well, it's a heart button. I've never oh, thought okay. this through. Mm. I just considered it a like button. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Should we start calling it a love button? Maybe. Which sounds naughty. Wow, interesting. <laughs> the love button. <laughs> Click the love button. 
So here's what he wrote. The Biden administration wants Trump to die in jail and they want to bankrupt his family. It's the biggest assault on democracy we've ever seen. We're not a democracy, J.D. All right. Uh, if you're too <laughs> cowardly to call it out, you're not ready for this moment in American politics. Hmm. Absolutely true. Yeah. Absolutely dead on. Uh, and it's despicable what's going on. Sure is. With him. I mean, he still faces... Some of them were dropped. It was 92 charges. Now it's yeah, what I don't are we know, down to? 88 in I think. the 80s. Yeah, in the 80s we're somewhere. There. So <laughs> just 88 left to go. Uh, one of the criminal trials. Did you say it was met March? No, April 15th. That's I think uh, I heard a blip on. Although that. I, the the Stormy Daniels one, that's not criminal, right? That's that's a civil suit again. Hey. She's not my type. Okay, well, I think she was. I don't think he ever said that about her. No. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to find out what that one is. Uh, we also want to thank Rowdy Introvert at Patheads.com. We got the CBS News Ocean Report. Good job finding that, Rowdy. Awesome. Carbon emissions also trap heat. Mm. Today's report shows oceans have absorbed mm-hmm. 90% of that heat raising ocean temperatures by half a degree. Yep. Had all that heat gone into the atmosphere, air temperatures could have risen by more than 200 degrees. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that'd be bad. Now, that doesn't count that'd for be bingo, bad. does it? Or are we letting... Just since we finally... I, I don't really know why put, it wouldn't. It wasn't I, a tweet. Put, yeah, it wasn't a tweet. And so. I put three question marks to ask you guys during the break. But uh-huh. if we're going to talk about it, I'd say it doesn't count. You say it doesn't count? Well, because when count. we originally set up the card yesterday uh-huh. morning, uh-huh. we didn't have that we example have to play okay, So that's yeah. just playing it, it to play let everybody it, know. Everybody know what it sounds so like. So it would take another play for it to count, Carbon I guess. emissions also huh. trap heat. Today's Weird. report shows oceans have absorbed 90% of that heat, uh-huh. raising ocean temperatures by half a degree. Ooh. Had all that heat gone into the atmosphere, right. air temperatures could have risen by more than 200 degrees. Okay. Again, so if the Earth didn't work the way it does you got it uh we'd all be dead it would be 200 and what is it this morning 243 degrees i think it's only 43 right now (laughs) 243 degrees would be a tad warm Mm -hmm. it really would it'd be a little uncomfortable for us i think you know also if the earth was the closest planet to the sun okay say we're only 25 30 miles away uh then the earth would burn up as well but we're not, mm-hmm. and it does. So neither of those things uh, are things you have to worry about. Okay. We're not that close to the sun, and the Earth does work the way it does. I'm glad you said that, because I've yeah. got plenty to worry about right now. Right, you don't need that, too. one less thing on my plate. Yeah, you just don't need that one, too. <laughs> now, how many bingo squares? We covered six squares yesterday. We covered yesterday? six squares yesterday. yesterday. Yes. So. Wow. Wow. Some might that was say, a productive day. Some might say we now have seven covered. Mm, some some might. might say. You that. might say that. <clears throat> hmm. Or eight. What? Or eight? Really? Uh-oh. She's not my type. Wait. Sh- oh, wow. <laughs> you know, you <laughs> You're not supposed to give it away like that. We just, you could get in our ears, and then we would have gone, <laughs> oh, yes, eight. Right. Way to be the master of subtle, Chris Cruz. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's been here for a long time. Uh, you couldn't sleep last night, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep. What time sleep. did you get here? Three uh, something? 3.30, 3.40, yeah. Uh, I was on my way at 3.40. Oh, uh, yeah, you got stuck on, behind on traffic. On <laughs> and they had some sort of work convoy right in the middle of the freeway blocked off I all, love four, all four lanes for no reason. I mean, they weren't even doing anything. They were picking they were up. working. What are you doing? They were picking up. Where they would they pick up? Cones from <laughs> doing stuff. For half an hour? Uh, it took them 30 minutes. <gasps> Oh. That's wild. Ah. No, I wasn't there. I was frustrated. Wait, hold really on. Are you talking about near Beltline there? Kind of yeah. close to work? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were doing uh, uh, electrical line stuff there. Oh, yeah, yeah down like across half a mile away across, yeah. on the overpass. Yeah, yes. that's why they had to close that's why 114. They the in actual case, freeway. In case Billy dropped his <laughs> wrench yeah. on 114. Oopsie daisies, look yeah. out below! <laughs> hey, we saw what a container does to a bridge. Yeah. Imagine what a wrench does to a car. Yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. Uh, All right. Uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu yesterday said he would not send a delegation as planned to Washington after the U.S. 
didn't veto the U.N. Security Council proposal calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. A little pissed off. Not good. No. Our relations with uh, Israel just continue to get worse. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thanks to this administration, Mm -hmm. Netanyahu, according to uh, a statement from his office, said that Washington's failure to veto the proposal was a clear retreat from its previous position. Yes. Obvious. And would hurt war efforts against against Hamas in Gaza, as well as efforts to release over 130 hostages. In light of the change in the American position, Netanyahu decided the delegation would not leave, according to his office. The high-level delegation was due to travel to Washington to discuss a planned Israeli military operation in the southern Gaza city of Rafah. Mm-hmm. Now they're not going to do that. Yeah, whenever I see a story like this, I always think, and Israel will stand alone. Yeah, no, I know. I do too. Don't like it. I do too. I don't like it. I think I've mentioned before. Mm. I it used to be that I couldn't imagine that. Like I couldn't imagine the United States turning on Israel. <laughs> Can you imagine it now? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Under this administration. Easily. Oh yeah. Easily under Obama, under Biden. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And while part of me is, well, most of me here <laughs> is totally pissed at the Biden administration for being who they are. Uh, <laughs> part of me thinks. This kind of gets uh, the American monkey and you know other Western nations off the back of Netanyahu. It's mm. almost like he mm-hmm. wanted an excuse so he could be like, well, you know what? I guess uh, you pissed me off and now we can go and take care of Rafa. Now we're going to do what we need to consulting do. Consulting you. He needed yeah. kind of, a, I don't want to say an excuse, but it just it provides cover to go in. You, know, look, mm. you guys are, are turning your back on us. We're going to take care of this. We'll talk to you after Rafa. How about that? Yeah. Perhaps that's what yeah. we're doing here. Because they're pushing him hard not to go into Rafa. Mm-hmm. There's nowhere for them to go then. Well, okay, they shouldn't have done this then. They shouldn't support Hamas as their yeah. governing authority. Which we talked about yesterday. They still do. Mm-hmm. They still support them. Ugh, it's incredible. Um, so I, I, I don't know how else... Israel takes care of the situation. They've got to eliminate Hamas because Hamas is hell-bent on destroying them. And when you've got somebody right there at your doorstep hell-bent on destroying you, you need to take care of it, don't you? I mean, can you imagine a similar situation? <laughs> no. <laughs> if, if there were terror groups hell-bent and clearly and openly talking about destroying the United States... They're based in Toronto, and they come into Detroit all the time. I mean, (sighs) let's pick another part of America that they come into. All right, they're in uh, they're in Canada, whatever connects to New York, you know, Uh, up near Niagara Falls. Again, I'm going to need you to pick. They're in Saskatchewan, and they're coming into Montana. Now I'm pissed. (laughs) Now. Them's fighting yeah, words. Right? We'll give you Detroit and New York. You touch Montana, <laughs> we're coming for you. But we would do something about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You can't have that. You can't allow it to continue. And that's what they've said. Look, we've put up with this for far too long. And now yeah. we've had one of the biggest disasters in their nation's history. And we're going to end it. Once and for all, now we're going to end it. And they've been pretty successful. They've killed... They say 13,000-some uh, Hamas fighters so far. So It's so offensive. Finish the job. The way other countries treat Israel and just something as cut and dry as self-defense and self-preservation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's an existential threat, and you're telling them not to take care of it? Go pound sand. Thank you. They got plenty of that. They can pound, Yeah, they too. do. Yeah, there's uh-huh. a lot in that region. Uh, Mexico is warning a federal U.S. court that if its judges permit a controversial Texas immigration law to take effect, the two nations would experience substantial tension. Oh, well. That would have far-reaching consequences for the U.S.-Mexico relations. Oh, no, don't say that. Wouldn't you hate that? Oh, man. You'd hate it, wouldn't you? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm... Well, then we better we better cave right now to whatever they want. This is that Obrador guy again. God. He's been great, hasn't he? In a friend of the court brief filed Thursday with the 5th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, lawyers for Mexico said relations with the U.S. could be strained. No, oh, no, don't. Again, don't say that. Yeah, I don't, 
I don't care for that. No, guy. I don't care for it. I don't at like all. the cut of his jib, that Obrador guy. Enforcement of SB4 would inappropriately burden the uniform and predictable sovereign-to-sovereign relations between Mexico and the United States by criminalizing the unauthorized entry of non-citizens into Texas. That's what they're pissed about? That's right. <laughs> you got it. I can't stand it. Uh-huh. Tough. I know, man. Uh, if this affects that from going through, uh, it's going to be... Uh, Really irritating. It's already irritating that they're they're telling us, well, if you make it illegal to cross the border illegally, uh, there's going to be some problems. Hey, why don't you fix your nation so nobody has to cross, go across our border illegally? Why don't you do something for the citizens? You said Mexico first. We talked about this yesterday with Obrador. He's Mexico first. Okay, then fix it so that people don't, Clamor to come here from your country. Oh, jeez. It's just incredible. What were these clips? And nobody holds them accountable for any of it. Chris has a couple of immigration related clips that I haven't seen yet. Oh, okay. Um, Is it the bolt cutters thing? Let's do the bolt cutters one. I haven't seen All right. We got some bolt cutters on the border. Okay. That's surprising. All right. <clears throat> do they know that's not legal? Clip 12. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, wow. Right out there in the open. <coughs> so we are not allowed to shoot that guy? Is that right? I'm just checking. Just, that's just, right. I'm yeah, just right. making sure that my mm-hmm. T's are crossed and whatnot. Fuck. Uh, yep. So here they come. Oh, well, good job. Good job cutting that razor wire. And away they go. Right into the country. There we go. Oh, a whole bunch of people lined up. Oh, now we've got some... Uh, National Guard troops there. Uh, Are they impeding the flow? How dare they? You what is the matter with you people? Haters. Oh my gosh, what xenophobes. Dude, knowing my luck. Stand I'd, aside. I'd be the, the, the guy who's just about to, to get into the country illegally, and then they show up. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks, dude. I doubt they stopped them. I'd like to see what happened later. Are they still there, or did they allow them in? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, This was Biden on the border three years ago. Three years ago, huh, Chris? Yes, three years ago, he said this. This is the reason why people are coming to the border. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, look, I guess I should be flattered people are coming because I'm the nice guy. That's the reason why it's happening. (laughs) That I'm a decent man or whoever it's raised. That's why they're coming, because no, Biden's a good guy. Truth of the matter is, nothing has changed. As many oh. people came, 28% increase in children to the border in my administration, 31% in the last year of, in 2019 before the pandemic He's good. in the Trump administration. It happens every single solitary year. Mm. Okay. It's just about five times as bad under, under your watch as it was under Donald Trump's. Let's uh, let's do clip nine. This is the uh, Biden administration. Well, first, let me make oh. the point. Oh, sorry. That uh, it doesn't mean Joe Biden's a nice guy. Yeah. No, <laughs> nice try on that. It means that they understand you're going to allow illegal activity into this country because he's a nice guy. Pat. No, it's not oh, because he's not... a nice guy. Okay. It's because he's a he's a buffoon, <laughs> an absolute corrupt. Buffoon. Where are you getting that, bro? Who doesn't care about this country at all. Uh-huh. At all. Ugh. That's a fact. All right. Watch me. Watch him. All right. Clip nine. All right. So we have rescinded so many uh, Trump immigration policies. Oh, it would take so much I time to list them. Well, look, it's <laughs> way down now. We've now gotten control. Oh. Things are going at the border, sir. Much better than much, much better than you all expected. <laughs> we have responded no. with a model approach that has proven to work. <laughs> oh my! Gosh. Work for who, bro? Oh my gosh! They suck. Works for Mexico. We've got a Mexico first policy as well, so that's great. That's that's perfect for them. Uh, they've got Mexico first policies. And so do we. <laughs> Congratulations, See, we're, we're America. We're better neighbors than Obrador gives oh, us credit yeah, for. By far. Pat Gray, 
unleashed. Got some tweets to share. Carl Smith tweets, How soon before the Biden administration starts demanding container ship control laws? Mm. Could see that happening, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bunter Hyden, crack connoisseur. Have they called for banning large assault ships from civilian areas yet? Yeah, it's coming. Give them a minute. They will. Mm. Phil Sharp, if you watch the video, you'll see the lights on the ship turn off and then come back on as though they had a power problem. Yeah, oh. I think three times, right? Yeah, about. That's how many times I was able to uh, count it because uh, one of the listeners sent me a longer video and yeah. It so that's power. probably why they drifted off course. Yeah. Oh, mm. no. Jeez. Uh, Jeffy's pet Sasquatch. It almost seems like the ship off course could have been intentional. Almost feels that way. Yeah, but I think I think they were having issues. <laughs> uh, Nancy's vodka soaked den- dentures. Lights going out may indicate loss of power. Steerage. Yep. Okay. Seems to be the uh, the theme right now. For me, the curious part is that it went under the bridge first, then backed into the support column. Wait, what's that? Yeah, it's, I see. The, it? I saw the video. It's a, it's the longer video. It yeah. looks like it goes under and then turns right back around, loses power, and comes right back around, and then it hits the support beam. What? what? No, yeah. Come on. No. I, I've seen. Well, this is not it. I'll, I'll get the longer uh, video. Get the long, okay. Yeah, I'll get I've the seen video. several tweets like this. Huh. N- okay. Right now, it's not under the bridge. It looks like it's headed toward that support uh, structure. Uh, yeah, I want to see the longer video when you get it, Chris. Huh. Okay. I don't know. I just, so, exactly. Who knows I mean, what to every be time. Uh, Sons of Thunder 43. I miss Joe Biden's predecessor. <laughs> yeah, I think we all do. I think we all do. <laughs> yeah, all right. definitely. So, apparently, there's a, a couple of irritating clips that okay. we're going to share. All right. So there's two clips coming up here and I think we should play One a of them's game. Jill Biden. I can't imagine her being irritating. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Jill. <laughs> Dr. Yeah, Dr. Jill is Jill. one and then the Come other on. is a news clip out of Boston and and let's play a game here. Let's see which one of these clips angers Pat the most. Hmm. I really have no idea which way I'm going in my own mind here. So All right. Here's your Jill Biden clip talking about uh, Nazis and whatnot. History teaches us that democracies don't disappear overnight. They disappear slowly, subtly, silently. Hmm. A book ban, a court decision. Oh my gosh. A don't say (laughs) gay law. Ah! Before World War II, I'm told, Uh Berlin was the center of LGBTQ culture in Europe. One group of people loses their rights, uh-huh. and then another, you gotta be kidding me. and then another. They've Until got more rights than we do. What are you talking up, about? One morning you wake and up. And you no longer live in a democracy. Uh, so much there for uh, So to much chew there. On. Okay, so, so, so keep that fresh oh, in your mind, man. H- how you're feeling right now. Mm-hmm. You might even want to... Scribble down on a scale of zero to ten how angry you are, mm. so you can compare it mm-hmm. to how you feel after this news clip from Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we call on the white church in Boston to join us in supporting a black rep- reparations movement. Standing in solidarity, okay. clergy leaders from across the city of Boston no. gathered for an interfaith multiracial meeting at the Resurrection Lutheran Church in Roxbury, Nubian okay. Square. They're here to ask the religious community to mm. atone for black Boston suffering and support black reparations. And we are coming, as Dr. King said, <laughs> oh to gosh. get our check. Get our Organizers check. Oh. from the Boston People's <laughs> Reparation Commission say Good luck they're also that. following up on their demand on the city of Boston for a $15 billion initial payout mm. to begin the process initial towards repair payout. and reconciliation to the billion. city's black community. Yeah. $5 billion as initial payment around cash payouts. Yeah, yeah great. $5 billion around uh-huh. uh, strengthening our financial institutions, creating uh-huh. a new black bank. Sure, okay. Uh, $5, uh-huh. billion $5 billion in terms more of 
in terms uh, of addressing issues of uh, issues. the issues. education achievement gap between blacks and whites. Huh. In 2022, <laughs> okay. the Boston City Council and Mayor Michelle Wu offered an official apology for the city's involvement in the transatlantic slave trade. She also launched two task force what research was Boston's teams involvement? to study Boston's role in slavery oh. and its long impact yeah. on descendants. They're in a northern so we still state. suffer from the trauma of those instances <laughs> and even today not uh, dealing with racism oh, on saturday this group called on the white church in boston to support uh, the black community for its association in slavery just today pause it for a we second. call upon is there a white church yeah, in boston that's a great point what what are you talking about what is that what white church you've got black churches obviously mm -hmm. but what white church uh, just churches uh, they're churches yeah <laughs> what what are you talking about are there whites only churches where that I don't know about that are discriminating against minorities in Boston? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, all right, let's see the rest of this. Yeah, that's, that's good, right? Gosh. For its association in slavery. Today we call upon this city, its financiers, and its white churches to stop the mm. shirking, stop the lying, tell the truth, and pay what is owed. Organizers say the next Gosh, step is to engage in conversation with white church leaders. Sure, on board with that. Go ahead. Why? Where's this white pastor ponying up his mm -hmm. check? Why don't you write the first five billion dollar check from your account? Can you imagine Douche? writing a check for tithe to mm -hmm. your church, and then your church be like, "Yep, thank you. Uh, we'll be taking this over for uh, reparations, down payment." Right. Um, we're not the people who did this, and we're giving it to the people who didn't have it done to them. But uh, c thanks for the donation. By the way, um, mm. slavery uh, was allowed in Massachusetts until it was abolished in 1783, also known as the year the Revolutionary War ended. Mm. So it seems like it was Britain's Massachusetts that right. did this to blacks. Right. You have every, every opportunity to take your grievance uh, right to London. And uh, deliver that paper to, I don't know, Buckingham Palace. There, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, huh. Mr. Pat. Uh -huh. uh, I think uh, that Joe Biden oh, J oh, pissed so me off. Jill, Jill, Jill yeah. uh, calling us Because, I mean, Nazis? that is just so preposterous. The, the reparation from the white church, which <laughs> doesn't exist. Okay. <laughs> that is so preposterous. The Jill, and Jill Biden knows better but she's a she's doctor just standing there lying through her teeth about certain things she's a doctor though yeah she is a doctor <laughs> let's listen to dr jill again because oh, no. this is uh <laughs> he's got some words infuriating there's a lot that's got some going words on here <laughs> uh, history teaches us that democracies don't disappear overnight pause it. no history's history teaches us that democracies don't last that's why we didn't create one in this country their shelf life is at most 200 years, at most, and they don't last. That's why we're not a democracy, dummy. <laughs> Let's hear the rest of this. Ugh. They disappear slowly, uh -huh. subtly, silently. Get this. A book ban. A book a ban. A court decision. Pause it. What book ban has there been? Name one. Name one ban on one book, because there aren't any. We're trying to keep them out of the hands of, you know, little school children. Mm -hmm. That's not banning them. Uh, I tell you, not to get too deep into the weeds here, but if there is such a thing as a banning of books, it's this administration working with outfits like Amazon right. to hide That's right. books that went against the COVID narrative and the vaccine narrative. You want to talk about book bans, woman? That's for sure. Oh. That's exactly right. Ugh. And a court decision. Okay. So <laughs> in certain in certain states, they've made it harder to, to murder babies. And that's ruining democracy. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. Oh. All right. There's more. Uh, before World War II, I'm told... Berlin was the center of LGBTQ culture in Europe. Pause it. How much LGBTQ culture was there in 1938? Come on. Yeah, people hid themselves from that sort of... They, they didn't announce it. They didn't demonstrate it. They weren't, they, they weren't parading around in front of people announcing that because it wasn't even safe then. Come on. 
in, they had a culture. They they had a culture of LGBTQness in Berlin. Get out of here. And there's more. One group of people loses their rights, mm-hmm. and then another, mm. and then another. Mm-hmm. Until one morning you wake up, and, and you no longer live in a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> because we're not a... Yeah, we're not. We, I woke up to that reality a long time ago. The day I was born, I woke up to the fact that we're not a democracy. Mm. Maybe you should wake up one day and realize we're a... Freaking Republic! Oh, she's the worst. She's really terrible in every conceivable way. I don't know how you could like this person. <laughs> <laughs> who? Okay, so who is? But well, today is like uh, let's, let's quiz Pat. <clears throat> who do you like least, uh, Jill or Joe? Boy, that's hard. That's a hard one. Mm-hmm. That's a hard one. Mm. Uh, because I see him more probably Joe, but. Every time, I mean, if she was more out in the mainstream, yeah. out in our face, but it'd he, probably be her. And he can sign legislation that ruins yeah. our lives. Right, right. Tiebreaker Joe, which, by the <laughs> it's way, a hard one. he has a second round matchup with Andrew Jackson coming up uh, next week in the worst presidents of all time bracket. Oh, okay. So, who are the winners so far? So, Woodrow Wilson will take on FDR next week. Oh, that's a big one. Uh, Joe Biden versus Andrew Jackson. Right. Obama won handily against Taft yesterday. Right now, it's it's a it's a battle going on between Jimmy Carter and Herbert Hoover. Last I saw, uh, Carter was up seventy five twenty five. So, not nearly as close. The Andrew Jackson was really close uh, hmm. with uh, uh, James Buchanan. That was fifty seven forty three. And so, anyway, uh, tomorrow we got uh, hmm. LBJ versus Lincoln. And then Clinton versus Benjamin Harrison. So we got a ways to go, but we're getting there. The the higher <laughs> seeds, no upsets yet. I find it amusing that you have Abraham Lincoln. As Let's one see how many worst. votes he gets. <laughs> You're going to be surprised by how many votes Abraham Lincoln gets. Unfortunately, no, because there's a lot of Southerners. It's a tough draw for him against mm-hmm. LBJ, <laughs> who is grotesque from start to finish. Yes, no redeeming qualities. Agreed. Mm. Anyway, if you want to participate, it's pinned to the top. At Keith Malinak, you on know this. Twitter. You know, also when you're back to the battle of uh, the most irritating, the Joe Biden and Black Church thing, mm-hmm. uh, they're really pushing hard for that reparations thing again. Yeah. I, I remember 20, 25 years ago they were all over it, and now it seems to have really come back with a vengeance. And I, I don't know how to combat this, but it seems like the most absurd things in our society that we just laugh off and dismiss mm-hmm. actually become political yeah. issues. Yes. It, it, I don't I don't know the fine balance there because you want to mock mm-hmm. it into submission and you want to take take the Solinsky rules for radicals yeah. and and apply that for conservative values. But at the same mm-hmm. time it's like do but you got to take it seriously. Right, do we ignore it? Do we mock it? Do we take it seriously? When do we start taking it seriously? Yeah. The timing is difficult with I mean, stuff like that. Look what happened with climate change. I, I think we kind of mocked that at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And in the 90s. That turned into a real thing. Yeah, I just, I don't know. And don't now know this like reparations that. deal. I mean, they're demanding $15 billion from the city of Boston and from the white the white church in Boston. If that news report, if I heard correctly, Jeez. that fifteen billion was a down payment. Was like yeah, oh a, yeah, it was an initial initial payment. payment. Yeah. What? What are you? <laughs> and I love the the one dude's like, oh, look, we we suffer today. Mm, you ain't suffering, bro. And uh, it, it it would be a completely different conversation if these were slaves, former slaves, we're talking about. Yeah. Not people yeah. that are. Four or five generations removed, living in freedom in the greatest country to ever exist. Go yeah. away, man. After a war that cost 600,000 plus lives to end slavery. And make no mistake, that was a huge part of it. And, you know, Abraham Lincoln, while he didn't go into the war thinking that way, he certainly came to that conclusion during the war that that was what it was about. And he was all about ending slavery from, um, you know, just before the Gettysburg Address on. He was all about ending slavery. And so, I don't know. It seems like a big price was paid by this nation to end slavery. A huge price. 
I don't know how you put a price tag on 600,000 lives. So should families of fallen Union soldiers say, where are our reparations? Yeah. For I'm securing kidding. freedom. I mean, you could do this all you day. You could. You could just do Absolutely this all day with yep. history. But man, they're, they're arm twisting right now. They're really, they're serious about this. Yeah. They're not going to stop, I think, this time. Because they've seen how, how much it pays off. I mean, you look at the homosexual agenda with, with gay marriage. And once that happened, that just, that opened the floodwaters for everything else. I mean, now, seriously, are, you're going to talk about gay rights? I think the LGBTQ commu- community has more rights than the straight community. At this point. <laughs> sure feels that way. It does. And that's a community that has been uh, um, co-opted by the trans community. Yes. And so, uh, you know, libs of TikTok, sure. for example, make it very clear every day. Did I send in a graphic uh, for the president? Because as long as we're asking you questions, you know, either or here, if you had to, if you had to choose... I put a poll on Twitter yesterday at Keith Malinak. If you had to choose between Nikki Haley and John Fetterman as, pre- as president of the United States, <laughs> at Gray, oh jeez, it's a tough one. Who that would you choose? Who would you choose? Because <laughs> boy, the discussion on this one that was uh, mm-hmm. was a fun topic yesterday on my Twitter feed. Who won? Uh, 95, 95, 95. <laughs> uh, it's well, uh, the the polls are still open for that. <laughs> Uh, let's see where it stands right now. Uh, wow, Moore would choose Fetterman by a lot. Oh, that's where that. we're at right now. Seventy six point three to twenty three point yeah. seven. What do you think of that? <laughs> that's where we're at in America. <laughs> we this oh, audience geez. likes John Fetterman more than Nikki Haley. <laughs> I mean, I'm with you, bro. Well, <laughs> sure. I mean, he's been far more outspoken on Israel. What's the other thing he's pretty good uh, at? He's not a warmonger like right. she is. Yeah, that's true. Uh, he wants to protect the border, unlike she the does. Border. Yeah, he's really right? good I mean, on so the border like, right now. So war, border, what was the first <laughs> thing you said? Uh, Israel. Israel? Yep. Yep. But 73? What a bizarre... 76 to 23 war. is amazing. Uh, that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> You believe this is the same guy? This is our world. We were so pissed about because when he was elected, he was half dead. He was like three quarters brain dead. Yeah, and he still got elected. We were a little upset about it. Now he beats Nikki Haley this as is... as president. <laughs> if it was between the two of them, this is the timeline we're on, bro. Yeah, it is. Oh man. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. More Pat Gray unleashed coming up. Gray Unleashed. Pat Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Triple Eight Nine Hundred Thirty Three Ninety Three. Got some tweets here. Giblets tweets. Love button. Great name for a band. Yes. Yes. Also sounds like something Jeffy would say. Oh, yeah. Uh, Adrian Slade. (laughs) Democracies dissolve overnight. A porn book in a toddler's library. A scalpel on a little boy's... I'm going to say unit. That's not the word he used. Mm. Mm. Uh, A protester in solitary confinement. From KIW, notice how Jill mentions the LGBTQ, but not the Jews with the Nazi speech. Hmm. Yeah, very interesting. DMX DM. I don't remember remember Dr. Dummy talking about freedom of thought or expression for anyone who believed masks weren't a requirement for society. Uh, Uniparty monger. The Bible is almost banned. That's a fact. Maskless in Florida. After watching that clip, I'm thinking Joe Biden was Kamala Harris's teacher. Oh, yeah. Lone Wolf 2965. Well, Lincoln did essentially turn the country into a roach motel <laughs> where once you check out, That's right. you're never allowed. To, oh, once you check in, you're check never in. allowed to check out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, like the Eagle said, you can check out anytime you like, but 
you can never leave. Uh, Stand up, Chuck. Tweets. Who do you dislike more between Jill and Joe? Without Jill's elder abuse, Joe isn't president. I I dislike Jill more, hands down. Okay. Okay. Sweater yams. Uh, they're pushing for reparations because it's an election year. Nothing will happen if they win. Hmm. Uh, we fight it by reminding everyone Biden had two years with Democrat House and Senate to pass re- uh, to pass, and they didn't. I see. It's a ruse. So, uh, by the way, I, I just posted. You can check it out at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Uh, the poll: Who do you like least, Joe or Jill? Okay. Now it's uh, by a margin so, of uh, three to one. Joe okay. leading the least like vote at Pat Unleashed. All righty. Uh, of course, we had the. Uh, Overnight, we had the Francis Scott Key. They just call it the Key Bridge. But um, it collapsed after it was hit by a container ship. Uh, I think with a Singapore flag. I think uh, it was from Singapore. Was anyway, it? this somebody mentioned that it cleared the bridge, backed up, okay. and then ran into it. So you have that long clip? We've got a long version here. Let's oh, boy. take a look at the long version. How long is this, by the way? Oh, they sped it up. A minute <clears> long. Okay. So here it comes. Uh, you see it there, steaming toward the bridge. Power loss number one. Oh, yep. Just went out. Okay. So it's still on this side of the bridge. Mm-hmm. And recovery. Oh, you got okay. their power back. Somebody kicked on the generator. Thick smoke coming out. Keeps curving there. Power loss number two. So wait, recovery. Wait, Chris, you're saying it already. Nobody cross on the left side. So yeah. it's come from the. And then it's gonna go back. Oh. And. This is odd. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like it backed up. This is odd. I don't know what's going. Oh on. no, it's curving so it cleared around. It, it's not and backing then it, up. Yeah, yeah. It no. cleared so, it. And okay. Then, so I think it's because, just curving. It's in, curving. It's not. So in the distance there, where we see the shipyard. Did it just leave the shipyard, or is it approaching the shipyard? Do we know? Because if from it, that angle, it looks like he's leaving the shipyard. Really? I, I don't know. It seems like he's going parallel to the bridge. There's going to be a lot more that's going to come out. Uh, just even today, you know, and as the week goes on, we're going to find out exactly where the ship. That was doesn't look to me like it ever cleared the bridge. In the minutes, does it to you? It no. looks like it just curved, kind of stayed along parallel with it. Yeah, and yeah. then smashed into it. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing, but I don't know even before this video started where it came from. We're going to find out where it came from, where it was going, what was on the ship. Um, We're going to find out if anybody on the ship was intoxicated, sleeping, if it passed a a safety inspection recently. Yeah. Uh, It's going to be all sorts of stuff. And this thing's going to go to court probably. Oh, yeah. Has and, to, and we'll, we'll we'll learn a lot more than has we to. know here in the few hours. And the FBI has happened. come out and said there's no terrorist no. indication. Well, yes. then we know that that. And then the fire department has come out and said that they have sonar images of the ground of the whatever you call it, lake, whatever it under is, under the water, under the water, the and they <laughs> see uh, vehicles. They just can't give an accurate count of how many people oh, are gosh. underwater mm. if they're still underwater. I hate this. Mm. Dang. Okay. But yeah, could have been much worse. If that would have happened like now, now. Yeah, during drive time, it would have been much, much worse. Mm. Still, it's bad enough, bad enough, you know, for the people who are involved. And our thoughts and prayers are with them and their families. And that's got to be a really hard situation right now. Uh, did you see that Nick Sandman getting no, no justice from the U.S. Supreme Court? They declined to hear the case. <sighs> what? So that means that... Means that the lower court dismissal of his lawsuit holds. Hmm. Okay. All right. Whatever. If he's not entitled to uh, some compensation there, I don't know who is. Because that kid was defamed like crazy. Did he ever get any money from anybody? Sure. That, right? I think he did. Yeah, he, right? he, 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 got money. Yeah, he, got, he got money from like three different organizations. Sure. Did he? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I hope those checks cleared because now they can say, hey, uh, (laughs) Hey. look at this ruling, Uh this dismissal. The rest of it was thrown out, so uh, we want our money back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good luck. Good luck with that. I hope he's he's got generation-changing wealth in his family now. I do, too. Uh, P. Diddy's in some trouble, too. Um, The FBI, I guess, somebody raided his home 
In fact, two homes. One in Los Angeles uh, area. Same time, yeah. And one in Miami. Apparently, they think that he's running some sort of uh, sex traffic Human operation. Human trafficking, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, let's play the footage, please. Here that we're getting this information from. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three wow. Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say, oh. less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. Mm. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up this street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. On the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home. <clears throat> that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. Okay. All right. So, uh, Chris, do you know, was P. Diddy there? Do we know? Uh, we don't know if he was there, okay. but that's the house of his daughter. Okay. The one that we were just seeing. Yes, it's registered mm. to his company, but that house belongs to his daughter. Huh. Guess and we know who was that that they were marching backward there? I guess, you know, when you're yes. famous and you're a rapper, there's like a hundred people in your house. <laughs> that, over, I learned that from like really? old music videos. There's like a hundred <laughs> of them in there. All right. So At all times? At all times. Well, I guess we're starting to learn what the P stands for. <laughs> there you go. P. Diddy. <clears throat> huh. That's great. Whew. Okay. So, I, I, you know, a lot of people are accusing him of a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, he's denied it vehemently. So I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what they came up with yeah. when they raided the homes. But then again, it shows that Hollywood is sick. Yeah, it does. And mm -hmm. more proof that Hollywood mm -hmm. is sick. He had a pretty nice home in uh, Bel Air there. It was, I, I think I counted like <laughs> seven AC footage. units. Seven? seven? I think I counted it, like, if there's one video, you can see the entire I believe it, that's a roof, big home. And I'm like, wait, are those AC units or is that like, oh, those are AC yeah. units. Nice. Yeah, really nice. I mean, is that just from his rapping career? Or and producing. he has a clothing line, too, or something, doesn't he? Oh, I don't know about that. Sean, I know he produces. Sean Combs. Uh, we we may soon learn how he's getting income. There yeah, we go. might. Yeah, we might. I mean, how irris how stupid would that be for a person as high profile as he is to run a business like that on the side? What are you doing? Well, we just learned. If it's true. Yeah. And we also learned R. Kelly. Like, bro. No, R. Like, Kelly. they're... Man. They're... Mm-hmm. They're Some paying bad judgment. Attention. Yeah, they're paying attention. Yeah. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of people when you're treating them poorly and you're abusing women, it's going to come out eventually. So you might not want to do that. It'd be, it'd be great if you just made the right decisions for the right reasons. But, I mean, just the high-profile position you're in should be sort of a, I don't know, kind of a detriment to doing anything like that, I would think, but maybe not. But that's normal thinking, Peg Gray. Yeah, I guess so. I Chill. guess so. Uh, Chick fil A is set to switch from antibiotic, uh, from uh, antibiotic chicken to anti antibiotic free chicken. No, no, no. Right? right the other from, way. Yeah, they're switching yeah. from, they've got the antibiotics now, but they're going to antibiotic free no. chicken. That's what it says. It's switching really? from antibiotic free. Oh, they're switching from, from antibiotic yes. free. Yeah, now you're yes. going to get medicine Wait, with so your Chick-fil-A. Wait, so they Chick -A. were doing the... Yeah, they were doing it antibiotic the, free. Yeah. the organic way, organic if you will. Way. Now they're yeah. going with chicken and, and that has been like processed with antibiotics. antibiotics. Yes. What? Less healthy. Weird. Gross. That's kind of weird. I'm not happy with this at that all. That seems to be going against mm -hmm. the mainstream there, doesn't it? Well, did you see the reason why they're doing this? Cost. Supply oh, and much? demand. Uh, really? Yeah, well, yeah. They're running out of uh, antibiotic free chickens. So okay. You got some of those, don't you? I do. I do got some antibiotic free chicken, but I don't think I could supply an entire Chick Fil A. <laughs> uh, are all your chickens antibiotic free? Yes, sir. You don't get out there and like huh. hold them still and inject nope. them with mRNA garbage nope. or what have you. Well, do they do they get sick more often? Mm, uh, well, if the the weather changed, mm. cold, hot, cold, hot, and they got sick, but uh -huh. that's yeah. just because of the weather change. Didn't you have a chicken recently die? Yes. Ah, see? See, medicine. He needs medicine. He needs to inject those chickens. It was uh, egg stuck in her butt. I, I know. So. I got it. Yeah, because you the were giving vaccine. her antibiotics. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. see? Right? See? Right? Yeah, I know. This is a, uh, it's a poor decision, uh, business decision, I think. I don't know. Figure yeah, it that's out. that's weird. Figure it out. I know. But you know what, though? That's supply and demand. Huh. This is... Uh, <laughs> Pun not intended. Coming home to roost from all of those uh, dead chickens and uh, burning alive. Remember that massive fire? Yeah, the fire? massive yeah. fire. Yeah. Mm. Killed chickens, eggs, cattle, multiple, all that stuff. Multiple times. Multiple places. Then the fire in the panhandle killed a whole bunch of cattle. Cattle. So we're going to fill that 
pinch as well. Mm. I mean, hundreds of thousands of cows apparently died in now, that fire. Now, a cynic would say your food supply is being uh, attacked. A, cy- a cynic would say that. Uh huh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Of course, we wouldn't. Not being cynical, of course, we we wouldn't say that, but it's some just, would. These are and just all these mass deaths of of your food supply and mass mm-hmm. massive fires all over the nation at different uh, food processing plants. Wild coincidence. Co- thank you. That's all it is. Somebody had to say it. That's yeah. why you got to do backyard butchers. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. That is true. According to the Chick Fil A website, uh, NAE means no antibiotics of any kind were used. In the raising of the animal, while NAIHM restricts the use of those antibiotics that are important to human medicine and commonly used to treat people Mm. and allows use of animal antibiotics Uh only if the animal and those around it were to become sick. So you don't have to go to the doctor anymore because you're going to (laughs) Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Preventative maintenance on your body. The antibiotic comes right in your sandwich, so that'll be great. Mm. You That's wanna... weird. That, <laughs> that is so weird. In this time period where everybody's so concerned know, about man. that, you're going against that? I think the pushback hmm. that has already been generated is going to get to a point where I predict that Chick-fil-A is going to change their mind. And then the cost of your... It's already ridiculous it's now to pay hey, uh, for a meal there. Yeah. It's going to go even higher, Chick-fil-A. This is what I predict. By the way, they're not the only one. Tyson f- chickens also did the same thing. Mm. They went back to antibiotics? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did they? It was in the same story. We are huh. regressing as a society. That's in so great. Many and again, areas. they blame food supply because there's not huh. enough antibiotic-free chickens. Huh. Okay. Let's get into the antibiotic-free chicken business. Stat. Right? Yeah. Right? How do you start that? Well, you start raising, you raising chickens. chickens. Yeah. So, well, I mean, we got, we got a, that's what yeah. I'm saying. We got okay. an in over here. Yeah. All right. Can, all right, yeah. The only okay. one that I believe in this room has a lot of acre uh-huh. is Pat Gray. So <laughs> a lot of acre. acre. You did get the singular right. Yeah. I have a lot of acre. <laughs> one, <laughs> one acre. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I got ample room for chickens galore. How many chickens do you have? Like twelve? Ten. Ten. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're, so. you're you're losing them. So you could barely supply lunch for Chick-fil-A. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> just breakfast. Just 30 <laughs> minutes of breakfast. Do not give Jeffy Chris's address. But I do. I am curious. Uh, how, how is the Hooked on Phonics stuff working out? Is it good? Yeah. Cool. All right. Good. Uh, all right. Did you know that traditional bed sheets can harbor more bacteria than a toilet seat? It can lead to all kinds of icky things. You just don't. You don't want it. You really don't. Miracle Made offers a whole line of self-cleaning, eco-friendly bedding, like pillow sh- pillowcases, sheets, comforters, and those prevent 99% of bacteria and require three times less laundry. Using silver-infused fabrics inspired by NASA, Miracle Made sheets are thermal-regulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long. So you get better sleep every single night. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, and that leaves them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets, so you don't have those gross odors anymore. Go to trymiracle.com slash pat to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you'll save over 40%. And if you use the promo code pat at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product. It's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're not 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash pat. Use the promo code pat to claim your free three-piece towel set. And save over 40% off. That's trymiracle.com slash pat and treat yourself. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Welcome. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Pat unleashed on Twitter. The right meme tweets concerning Nikki Haley and John Fetterman. Which one would you vote for for president if you had to choose between the two? Right now, we have a presidency that's being run by the administration and his aides. 
I don't think a John Fetterman presidency would be much different. I'm afraid to ask. Could it possibly be worse than now? <laughs> you could vote. Which one you think would be better, Fetterman or Nikki Haley, at uh, Pat Unleashed on Twitter or X or whatever it is. Uh, let's see. Tamara B. Jill is committing elder abuse. Yes. You can also vote for who do you like least, Jill Biden or Joe Biden. You vote for that at Pat, Un- uh, Pat Unleashed as well. Uh, Anthony Osh. Anyone want to wager that the key bridge will be rebuilt and named the Floyd Bridge? Oh, nice. The George Floyd Bridge. Honestly, I, I was just wondering this morning. Oh, uh, man. Do you, what percentage of people that drive on that bridge every day know who Francis, Francis Scott, Scott Key, Key is? is? Uh, probably not very many. Probably not very many. Oh, Lord. Or that he, you know, wrote that song, The Star Spangled Banner. Right there in the Baltimore Harbor. Mm-hmm. Right there. Right there! At Fort McHenry. <laughs> uh, so, which is, you know, thus the name, the Key Bridge. Uh, uncontexted, too, tweets, uh, the next step for Chick-fil-A will be mRNA chicken from Pfizer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Would you be surprised? <laughs> Not, nothing, nothing surprises no. us anymore. Come on. No. It just go. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. You can you can get mRNA chicken sandwiches now. All right, whatever. You know what you know what Chick Fil A should do? How about they have two kinds of chickens on their menu? Let the people decide. Meh. Do you want the cheaper uh, non antibiotic chicken? Yeah, or or the range free or whatever you know chicken? It'll cost yeah. you three bucks more. Yeah, probably getting the the three dollar more chicken. Yeah, probably am. Mm-hmm. Uh, the FAA is restricting... This is weird. It's restricting aircraft from flying over the wreckage of the Key Bridge in Baltimore. Hmm. Wait, what? W- why? Why? Maybe they don't... I don't know. Can you think of it? Seriously. Um, yeah. What would be the reasoning for that? Like, yeah. Are you distracting... No, I... I don't think so. Okay, so so you're saying this is some government mm-hmm. nefarious cover. They don't want you to see from the air what's actually going on. Look, I, I'm, it reminds me of I'm, the Maui fires. I'm all about this, but <laughs> I think they don't want to deal with another tragedy with, with people flying over, crashing into each other. Uh, maybe. Okay. Mm. Okay. Drone pilots. The FAA has flight restrictions in place. That kind of makes sense because they don't want to be bothered during the you know the rescue attempts and all that. Uh, but they've got flight restrictions in place around the Francis Scott Key bridge collapse. Uh, do not interfere with rescue operations. Makes sense. If you fly, emergency response operations cannot. So this isn't for like airplanes, right? No, this is for the. That's uh, not from. This is for the drone operators. Oh, okay, so they're not saying aircraft can't fly over. No, that. they're just saying drone okay, operators. Drones. And where did All the right. FAA post this? <laughs> <clears throat> Pat, where did they post it? The restriction established Tuesday morning covers Baltimore Harbor and is close to Baltimore, Washington, BWI. They posted on the busiest airport. On X. And they report they post, Is that where they posted it? On X, which is Okay. formerly yeah. known as Twitter. Formerly known as Yeah, we got there. Yeah. Ish. The social media platform formerly known as Twitter. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm a helper. I see. Okay. Did you see the latest story about how corrupt the Biden administration is? Oh, boy, this one, oh man. I guess this is no shock, uh, but the Dish Network has been, they were being sued by the Biden administration until <laughs> they got a $113,000 donation from the founder of Dish Network, Charlie Ergen and his wife. Oh, wow, so They donated obvious. more than $113,000 to his re-election campaign late last year. Oh, gosh, now they're moving to drop the lawsuit. And, I huh? mean, justice is blind, Pat. What are you insinuating, no, sir? Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying, hmm. what a weird coincidence. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It's weird. That's the word I came up with, too. <laughs> That's weird. weird. How weird is that? What a weird coincidence. Tennessee na- native uh, just saw his luck change shortly after he and spouse Candy <laughs> contributed <laughs> over $100,000 to Biden's super PAC and maxed out with matching $6,600 donations to the president's 
principal campaign committee in December. Huh. This past January, Dish nabbed a $50 million grant also from oh. the administration. <laughs> Yeah, no, but just, that's to help expand their yeah, 5G coverage. They just pulled a name out of a hat and they're like, ah, oh, we award Here's this grant million. to Dish Network. Who saw that coming? Dish is also bragging that this is the largest award of its kind. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you just keep your mouth closed and just move along? Mm. Wow. Wow, that's something else. Sure is, huh? And, and it's brazen. It's It's not like they're trying to hide it. This is. They're are we going to skip it. that the wife's name is Candy? Yeah, is not nice. We're going to skip that. What do you want to say no, about I, that? I paused I for a moment okay. to let it sink in okay. that her name is Candy. Sounds what's what's their last name? <laughs> Ergen Bar. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bar. That's her maiden name. Uh, Got it. <laughs> the move to dismiss the case scrapped plans to depose the Ergens about their knowledge of the allegedly fraudulent Mm. scheme promoting Vermont Telephone's attorneys to accuse the Justice Department of political interference. Hmm. So this month, Ergen was also appointed to a presidential (laughs) trade and investment mission to the Philippines. Wait, what in the world? (laughs) So that's not just dropping the charges. We're giving you a grant for your business. We're giving you a special deal over in the Philippines. Right. And all you have to do is give a right. hundred grand to our super PAC and max That's... out the individual donations to Joe Biden, and we'll let all this go. It's a tra- it's like a fantasy football trade here. Uh, just it's amazing what you can get for a hundred thousand dollars. <sighs> that is amazing. That's a lot. You get the fifty million dollar grant. You get charges dropped, mm-hmm. and uh, the, you get the... the appointment to the Philippines. Yeah, <laughs> and, and then we'll, we're gonna let uh... my. Gosh. You just need to sign right here and uh-huh. make the check out to Joe Biden Super PAC. And then right. you and Candy Bar Ergen uh-huh. need to uh, do the individual donation, and then we can make all this happen. Let's let's go. I mean, just... <laughs> I don't want to hear about equal oh justice in America. Gosh, right? Meanwhile, Trump is fighting to stay out of fighting jail for, for his the rest very of life. his life. I mean, he's yeah, fighting for his very life. Hey, but this. he's the one, according to MSNBC, who's getting special treatment. Ah! Okay. Okay. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Pat Unleashed on Twitter and Instagram. Of course, the ever popular Threads. But I needn't tell you that because you're already on there. How much time do you think you uh, spend oh average day It'd on probably threads. be easier to tell you how much time I don't spend on it. About five minutes a day, I'd say. That you don't spend the, on yeah, it. Yeah, in my waking hours. Yeah. Obviously, that you know, yeah. six or seven hours of sleep at night, I'm not I'll on tell you what. threads. Wait, you but get six hours of sleep? Yeah, sometimes. Oh. I'll, I'll, five, I'll tell six, you something. We need somewhere. to actually, and Chris, get together with Pat after the show, because <laughs> okay. clearly he has a problem. You can actually set it up to uh, <laughs> to be the, the, you know, like it'll time out after yeah, you've been time on out. Yeah. for too yeah. long. Be like, okay. hey, all your threads time is done for the day. And so we oh, can you help, can set can it up yes, that way? Can. We oh, wean you wow. off of that. Wow. In fact, uh, I, I might convulse, though. I'm going to go through might. such you bad might. withdrawals that I start convulsing from it. I, so I don't know. It's don't dangerous. We, uh, cold turkey can't be done. Right. Did you So the, weaning me is probably a really right. good idea. So Ron DeSantis just signed a law yesterday uh, banning uh, kids in Florida from social media uh, if you're under the age of 14. Okay. And then like you have to have like parental permission. There he is, banning for, books like, for, again. It's uh, essentially banning honestly, books. Honestly, though, I, I'm sorry. Don't say gay. This is government overreach. It is. This, that is. This is the government yeah. saying... Let parents Thank handle you. that ron thank you i don't like that You're at right all. i don't like it uh, that is uh you know we don't like big government unless we're lazy parents i, I mean seriously i don't yep yep bad move that's too far that's an overreach sure is so don't say social media <laughs> don't, don't, say don't say tiktok don't say, media. Media. Don't say tiktok <laughs> Don't so, say TikTok. Uh, this Don't goes say into effect on January first. What's that guy's name again? I just saw Ron him. Perlman. Ron Perlman. Yeah, Ron Perlman. Oh, what a douchebag he is! <laughs> I just watched something with him and Nicholas. Oh, it's season of the witch. Mm. Have oh, you that's se- a good ever one. Ever seen that with him yeah. and Nick Cage? Yeah, that good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's Nicholas Cage. It's not bad. It's Nicholas Cage. Yeah, it's a Nicholas yeah. Cage. Movie. It gets a little ridiculous at well, the end. Yes, but you know what doesn't? 
So many of those do. Anyhow, I like small government. Ron. Yeah, yeah, we all do. So and I thought he did, uh, but that's not a small government move, right no, there. No, it's not. Sure isn't. Now, I also like to know what his definition of social media because mm. some people will say that YouTube is social media. Yeah, I don't think YouTube is social media. I don't think so either. But so is that is that part of this bill? I don't know. That's what okay. I'm. I, no, I don't know. I, I just, so that's like TikTok, Facebook. Yes, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Threads. Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. If that Truth. Was, if he was trying to ban me from threads, yeah. he's got a problem. At least you're not, <laughs> you know, 14. Right, I'm not 14. Yeah. Just slightly over Just that. slightly over. Yeah. Jonathan Turley wrote a really good uh, a really good opinion piece. In the, I think this was in, uh, not sure, was it the New York Post? Well, he, he, he put stuff on his blog all the time. Oh, maybe it was just his blog. Was, yeah. But he's talking about Democrats and their... January sixth, BS. Uh, they're going. They went. They've gone from riot to insurrection <laughs> to now terrorism. All right. He said, for years I've maintained that January sixth was a disgraceful riot, but not an insurrection. Yeah, us too, Jonathan. Thank you. Uh, that issue came to a head with the litigation over disqualifying former President Donald Trump and similar calls to block dozens of Republican incumbents from ballots. Now the protests that became a riot has been elevated from an insurrection to a terrorist attack. (laughs) Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and other Democrats are using the description despite no one being charged with insurrection or terrorism. Yeah, they they never let facts get in the way. On Sunday, Ocasio-Cortez declared to CNN host Jake Tapper that Quote, we're talking about an individual who ordered, essentially, a terrorist attack on the capital of the United States in order to retain power, unquote. In fairness to Ocasio-Cortez, she is not alone, Turley says, in such characterizations. For example, many of us were surprised when FBI Director Christopher Wray condemned the January riot at the Capitol as domestic terrorism. From a strictly legal basis, it was wildly inaccurate, in my view. Liberal publications like Political have riled against the Justice Department for not charging terrorism. That's been supported by some law professors. I mean, what? It's just a nation gone mad. Mm-hmm. Half the country has just gone insane. Those charged for their role in the attack that day are largely facing trespass and other less serious charges rather than insurrection or sedition. Yeah, they're charged with parading. Or milling. <laughs> I, I've i seen very few charges of even rioting or violence of any kind. While the FBI launched a massive national investigation, it did not find evidence of an insurrection. And again, the Democrats don't let that get in their way. No. While a few were charged with seditious conspiracy, no one was charged with insurrection. Trump has never been charged with either incitement or insurrection. That doesn't get... It's mentioned enough. No, it doesn't. The media has fueled these claims. One after uh, one year after the riot, CBS News mostly downplayed and ignored the result of its own poll, showing that 76% viewed it for what it was, a protest gone too far. 76%! They argued that this riot could simply be treated as calculated to influence or affect the conduct of government by intimidation or coercion or to retaliate against government conduct. However, so could other protests that result in property damage and criminal acts. We've seen other legislative proceedings shut down by protesters with members removed from the floor. The question is where to draw the line to avoid the arbitrary classification of some protests as terrorism and others as law unlawful access or trespass. Wouldn't, I mean, weren't we terrorized the entire summer of, was it 2020? Yep. The whole summer into the fall, we were terrorized. Cars and buildings set ablaze. Uh, Overturned vehicles. Uh, People being hurt or even killed. The vice president, the eventual vice president of the United States, um, helping to raise money to bail out these individuals who brought terror upon our cities. Yep. I mean, it, it, it is so despicable. What they're trying to make of this. Uh, I mean, the insurrection was was more than I could stand. Now domestic terrorism? Jeez. Oh, For a few broken windows? 
for how much damage was done there? They, I think they claimed immediate uh, right after, like three million. They tried to up that after they already gave the three million dollar total to thirty million a few days later, and that was discounted finally. Uh, but it's asinine. Yeah, a lot of people losing their lives too. A lot of people. Seven now. Uh-huh. Uh, no, I'm talking about. Uh, 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 oh, you're talking about during oh, the riots? Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh, gosh, I think it was a couple hundred. It was a lot. Right? I, I don't know if it was that many. I, the number 41 is in my mind. Oh, but okay. I, I don't know if that's accurate or not. Uh, we could look that up. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's it's ridiculous. It is unconscionable what they've done with January 6th and the mileage. And it pisses me off that we gave that to them. That the right gave them any kind of talking point and narrative, and they've beaten the hell out of it for three and a half years now. God, just I'm seeing the number 19 come up oh, here. Oh, 19. So yeah, it's, know, more, it's yeah. less than even 40? I guess, but hmm. bottom Still, line is there was more than at the Capitol. Oh, by far. Yeah. Yeah. The only people killed at the Capitol Thank you. were among the protesters. Mm-hmm. There were two of them. One shot, the other trampled, beaten to death. Ugh. Man. And then the cops who committed suicide, they're chalked up as being killed by right. the mob. Ah. Uh, all right. Apparently, RFK Jr. is going oh. to announce his vice president running mate today. T- today is the announcement, yeah. Today's the big... Do we know what time? I don't know. Is there a time It's specified? in Oakland, whatever uh, event he's got going on in Oakland. Oakland, California, or is it Oakland, Michigan, where Oakland University is? I only learned about Oakland University because... That's all I got. This yeah. is all I got. That's all you got. Joe. It's a good claim to fame, but they're gone, now. they're gone now. They're gone. They're gone now. We got lost it. him. We lost him. Got it. No, he's in uh, Oakland, California today. Okay. But <laughs> Oakland University is in Michigan somewhere, which is weird. Go figure. Uh, I guess the players were kind of upset that people thought it was in California. Well, of course they're going to think it's in California. Oakland, that's the only Oakland we know of. <laughs> uh, I don't know how many how many students are there at Oakland University. I bet like two two thousand maybe ish. It's uh, I think it's pretty small. But anyway, uh, in Oakland, California today, RFK will make the announcement. Is it going to be Tulsi Gabbard? Well, Tulsi Gabbard is also tossed around as a potential Trump vice presidential I've pick. Seen that? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, she was on with Tucker Carlson, had some interesting things to say about the Democrat Party. Unfortunately, the Democrat Party uh, and those in charge of it are now the party of the elite who are way out mm-hmm. of touch with the experience of everyday working people. Thank you. Across Tulsi. this country. Yes. Uh, and and it, it is unfortunate. Um, it is unfortunate that that party has gotten so far away from its roots, mm-hmm. uh, its roots of being a party that celebrated freedom, its, its roots. roots of being a party Did that they, fought though? for its roots. civil liberties to one now where Slavery. with never the Biden-Harris administration <laughs> uh, and Get the Democrat elite across Washington it's the opposite are for intentionally okay. <laughs> politicizing and weaponizing the tools of our own government yep. okay. and their yes. friends in big tech and social media and their friends in the mainstream media. Uh-huh. To take away our freedoms, right. to take away our right That's to free right. speech, Thank to you. violate our privacy and our civil liberties. Yes. They have become the party of war uh, <laughs> in, yes. in every respect. Wow. Uh, un- unfortunately, the Democrat Party has become mm-hmm. a party that is is undermining the very fabric of our country, Wow. of our freedom, of our constitution and the rule of law, uh, which is <sighs> why ultimately I, I left the Democratic Party and I'm why it's why I am sounding the alarm bells as we head into this very critical election year about really what's at stake. Wow, that's good stuff. That was yep. stronger than I anticipated. Mm-hmm. I hadn't seen that yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, has she toned down the white streak in her hair? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't look as prominent. Oh, I know that shouldn't be my takeaway, but um, it was. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh no, I think I it's just kind there. of off to it's the just side the there. Delight. Yeah. Okay, we're yeah. just not. It's just not featured prominently. Yeah, it is her look, though. She can't. Uh, yeah, she can't does. change it. It is. Um, so the Democrat Party, she nailed what it is now. Yeah. She did not nail what it was before because the Democrat Party has never been the party of freedom. It has never been the party of civil rights. 
It has never been the inclusive party and tolerant party that they've claimed for years. That, that's all garbage. But good for her for realizing, mm-hmm. and that's why she left the Democrat Party, because she realizes what it is now. Uh, she had some interesting things to say about Ukraine, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you happen to challenge them, whether it be on COVID or it be on uh, things like it, and this this was, uh, I think this was the thing that, that caused Mitt Romney to to call me a treasonous liar, was saying, hey, mm-hmm. there are... Um, U.S. funded, DOD yes. funded bio labs in Ukraine that should be secured because there's a war going on mm-hmm. over there. And mm-hmm. the last thing we or the world mm-hmm. needs is anything going on in those bio labs right. being unleashed in a way that could pose a threat oh, to people. That that was seen as... Uh, but I should just say, you weren't guessing. No. <laughs> you got that. It was confirmed, in any case, in a public exchange in the Senate between Marco mm. Rubio of Florida, the sitting yes. Republican senator, and Victoria Nuland, the Undersecretary of State, who volunteered it on camera. Thank yes. So, and God. it was on wow. the DOD website. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> talking about their long history right. of funding these biolabs not only in Come Ukraine, on. but in many other countries of course, because they, around the world. Because it's outside U.S. law, huh. right? So they can, and it's, it's uh-huh. bioweapons research, obviously. But yeah, you, you were just, you. I don't even think don't you said that. It. You just said basically <clears throat> what the Undersecretary of State said right. in the Senate. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> and <laughs> she's still called a liar by Mitt Romney. Ugh. I wonder what her political future is. I, I mean... I don't know. Uh, that would be that know. would be an interesting pick for Donald Trump. It would. Yeah, it would. Because you know, at least then he's not saddled with a Democrat. Mm-hmm. Obviously, she's she's disavowed the Democrat Party, and now she's an independent. Right? She's not a Republican. Right. So that'd be interesting. Be interesting. I yeah. think there's better choices than her, but you know she wouldn't be the worst. And, and if RFK goes as is expected today with Nicole Shanahan, the far left uh, Google, yeah, uh, connected, that would be unfortunate. That would be very unfortunate. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's Mike Rowe. Maybe it's Mike <laughs> Rowe or Tulsi Gabbard or fun. Rand Paul. Mike Rowe would be fun. Yeah, I would. I mean, seriously, I want to see a debate <clears throat> with Mike Rowe, Kamala Harris, and oh, whoever geez. Trump picks. Mm, that'd be a bloodbath. <laughs> oh, whoa, easy now. Oh, B said the word bloodbath. He yeah. must mean he wants to kill all Americans. Yeah, come on, calm down the rhetoric over there, <laughs> right wing talk host. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Did you know that Fast Growing Trees is the biggest online nursery in the United States? They've got more than ten thousand different kinds of plants, over two million happy customers in the U.S. Everything you could possibly want, like fruit trees, palm trees, evergreens, house plants, so much more. Whatever you're interested in, they have it. You can find the perfect fit for your climate and your space. Fast Growing Trees makes it easy to order online, and your plants are shipped directly to your door in one or two days. And along with their 30-day Alive and Thrive guarantee, they offer free plant consultation forever. So it's great. Uh, I ordered one of the uh, shade trees. looks absolutely beautiful in the front yard. It's fantastic. And it's specific to the climate here in Texas. And that's really important because you want to, you need their expertise on what will grow where. This spring, they have the best deals online. Up to half off on select plants and other deals. And because you listen to this show, you'll get an additional 15% off. The, your first purchase when you use the offer code PAT at checkout. That's an additional 15% off at fastgrowingtrees.com. Use the promo code PAT at checkout. Fastgrowingtrees.com, offer code PAT. The offer is uh, valid for a limited time. Terms and conditions may apply. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Speaking of uh, special products, we're almost out of the Winnie the Pooh boxes. If you want to get one of those from Kexi Cookies, you got to order it right away because they're going fast. We always sell out of these specialty boxes, and it's really cool. It comes with the 
trading cards, the Winnie the Pooh trading cards, uh, they're really nice, really beautiful, and delicious cookies. Kexi, K-E-K-S-I, Kexi.com. Uh, Fanny Willis continues to aggrandize herself. She still hasn't learned her lesson. After the embarrassing spectacle that probed how her personal decisions may have impugned her election interference case, uh, which resulted in Judge Scott McAfee publicly scolding her. You know, big deal. Should have kicked her off mm-hmm. uh, the the case. Willis is not done talking about a prosecution of Donald Trump and his co-defendants. At an Easter event in Atlanta, she said the hearings over her potential disqualification did not slow down the case. While that was going on, we were writing responsive briefs. We were still doing the case in a way that it needed to be done. I don't feel like we've been slowed down at all. I do think there are efforts to slow down this train, but the train is coming. She won't be uh, distracted by the noise, she claims. I don't feel like my reputation needs to be reclaimed. Let's say for the record, I'm not embarrassed by anything I've done. (laughs) That's because these people have no shame. I'm sure she's not. I'm sure she's fine with it. You know, I guess my greatest crime is I had a relationship with a man. Oh, God. But that's not something I find embarrassing in any way. And I know that I have not done anything that's illegal. She described herself as the face of the feminist movement and the face of women. Okay. (laughs) That's great. All right, whatever. I'll tell you this, especially African-American women who will just say, we are so proud. You are such a great representative of us. Mm. Oh, isn't she? Mm -hmm. But I would be lying to say it's only African-American women. I have had Caucasian women, Asian women, Indian women. I didn't think I was the face of the feminist movement, but somehow I became it. (laughs) I feel like women feel like women are treated differently when they're professionals and they're proud to see someone that's strong and trying to do the right job are you wait a minute hold on a second what what did she call herself a feminist icon what did she Mm -hmm. say exactly Mm -hmm. Um, she's the face of women face of women Mm -hmm. okay well cell Mm -hmm. phone data pings show that yeah, you that you really need a man uh, in the middle of the night between about uh, what was it, 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it does seem that way, doesn't it? So, Fanny, be tender. All right, uh, Chris, you need to walk us through this Florida police with a different approach. Yes. What is this video? Florida police is now asking re- this resident, whoever this resident is, to come up forward. Because this is how you handle a criminal when they're trying to break into your house. Okay. All right. Uh, As to the person, we don't know what homeowner, which homeowner shot at him. (laughs) Um, I guess they think that they did something wrong, which they did not. If somebody's breaking into your house, you're more than welcome to shoot them in Santa Rosa County. We prefer that you do, actually. (laughs) Um, So, whoever that was, you're not Uh in trouble. Come see us. Okay. We have a gun safety class we put on every other Saturday. <laughs> and if you take that, you'll shoot a lot better, and hopefully you'll save the taxpayers' money. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and that's how you do it in Florida. Wow. All right. That wow. is awesome. That's great. I say that that's hmm. a course that everybody should take, especially yep. when you got squatters trying to take your home. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Hey, how long is this uh, Fallen parody? Uh, Joe nah. keeps falling. We can hang on to it. Uh, it's more than three minutes long, I believe. Is it? Is it? How, how long is that? Do uh, we know? Where is that on here? So I'd love to play it. Oh, it's 123. It. Yeah, oh, let's play okay. it. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah, clip, here it is. Joe keeps falling. <laughs> He's an old guy. Has dementia. <laughs> can't lead us. And the country is screwed. Tell some big lies. Mm-hmm. Barely speaks English, sniffs children, and their mom's hair too. Goes the wrong way when he leaves his speeches, gets lost each day. So good. In the White House yard, all the Dems say that we should reelect him. How can he run? When walking is hard <laughs> And you keep Falling Yeah, he keeps falling Keep yeah, falling Keep falling <laughs> Yeah, he keeps falling nice. And you keep oh, falling no. Yeah, he keeps falling Keep falling Keep falling Yeah, he keeps falling Brilliant Brilliant. All right. Mm-hmm. 
retweet that out shortly. That's so good. God. Watch me. Watch me. Yeah, we are watching you, Joe. That's why we're doing parody songs uh, from Tom Petty, like Joe Keeps Fallen. <laughs> that was really well done. Yeah. Do we know who that is? Is that whoever, anybody we know? Whoever was on the screen. Whoever there. was on the screen, there. yeah. All right. Whoever was on the screen did that. Way to go, whoever was on put the a, screen. Put a still shot up there. <laughs> Raging Americans. Okay, cool. We'll really good. That. Mm-hmm. Really, really good. Uh, Did you know that every Democrat senator in the U.S. Senate voted yesterday to block the Lakin-Riley Act? Yep. Which would end sanctuary cities. Mm -hmm. It would end Biden's secret migrant illegal alien flights into the middle of the country. (laughs) And it would end fast pass entry for illegals. Uh, But every single Democrat voted against it. Correct. Unbelievable. They just want this to continue. Yeah. They want, but this is the Republicans' fault. Don't forget, the immigration crisis is the fault of Donald Trump and Republicans. This is Pat Gray Unleashed.